Now this will definitely be the simplest fudge cake recipe you can prepare. It literally takes a few minutes to put together and is perfect as a last minute dessert idea. G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. Some people call it a crock pot, others call it a slow cooker. Either way, it's the same thing. But most people use it to slow cook their meals, but I'm going to make a lovely dessert. So join me today as I make my version of a crock pot chocolate cake. Okay, so the two pre-packaged ingredients I'm going to use is a chocolate fudge cake mix. Any brand will do, makes no difference. And I'm also going to use one packet of instant chocolate pudding mix. Now I don't usually like using pre-packaged ingredients, but because this is meant to be one of those simple recipes that you can just whack together as a last minute idea, using these two particular ingredients really does make a world of difference. Now you can use a stand mixer like I am, or a hand mixer, it makes no difference. So into the bowl, I'm going to place in our fudge cake mix. Next, our packet of instant chocolate pudding mix. Next, three quarters of a cup of vegetable oil. Make sure it's vegetable oil, not olive oil, because olive oil has a very strong taste and you will notice the difference. Then four eggs, just whack them all in there. And finally, two thirds of a cup of sour cream. And now give it a good mix for about two to three minutes until everything is well combined and you have a nice smooth consistency. Okay, so lastly we have our crock pot or slow cooker. So I'm just going to give it a quick grease. You can use some butter or cooking spray oil. Then just simply place your fudge cake mixture into the slow cooker. And that's it. How simple and easy was that? It literally took me less than five minutes to prepare and it's ready to cook. So what we have to do now is we're going to place this on high for one and a half hours. And after one and a half hours, you know what's ready when you just, when you tap it on top, it sort of springs back, but you can also put a skewer inside. If the skewer comes out clean, it's ready. Now it's been about an hour and a half and Oh, look at that. And it smells mm -mm, delicious. So if you just see how easily that springs back like that, it's not going to spring back as springy as a normal cake because it is a fudge cake. But put in a skewer, see how it comes out clean? That means it's perfect. And there we have a delicious and easy fudge cake recipe. Now, before you say, well, I, all I did was use the pre-prepared cake mix, it's not entirely true. That's A, meant for the oven, and B, I didn't follow the directions or ingredients on the packet. It's merely as a base. If you wanted to make a fudge cake from scratch, honestly, it takes about half an hour to put it all together. And that's even before it goes in the oven, because you've got to melt the chocolate, there's a lot of mixing, and there's a lot of work involved when it comes to a fudge cake. But this one is so simple, and to be able to do it in a slow cooker, which honestly fills the house full of a lovely smell, it is the perfect, quick and easy way to make a fudge cake that I know everyone will love. And you can serve it with some cream or ice cream, it's completely up to you. Now I have made a full on fudge cake if you like that, a traditional recipe, and I'll leave a link to that in the description down below as my cake playlist. But give this one a go first because honestly, once you have it with a side of cream or ice cream, it tastes simply delish. And make sure you take a photo, put it up on Instagram and hashtag Todd's Kitchen. So thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. Make sure you subscribe for new videos every single week. And I'll also leave a link down below to my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Home Handy Hints channel. And don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up and I'll see you next time for another mm -mm delicious recipe.